I'm Toshi Regan. My name is Eric Ting. My name is Mayan Wong. I'm Bill Bregan. A music director, composer, producer of Octavia E. Butler's Parable of the Sower. I am the director of Parable of the Sower. And I am the producer for Parable of the Sower. And I'm the executive artistic director of the Arts Center at NYU Abu Dhabi. And we are going to have a complicated discussion, but because it is music, I want you to come inside this piece and be a part of it. Be a little less of a theater audience and a little more of a community. Parable of the Sower, uh, the, the novel, is a dystopian narrative. And Parable of the Sower takes place um, in the year 2024. Um, the main character in that book uh, is a girl, Laura Alamina, and uh, she's 15 years old. Uh, she has a family of um, three younger brothers, um, her stepmother um, and her father, Reverend Alamina, who's the uh, kind of the mayor of the unofficial mayor of a self-built walled community. We shall not be moved. Oh, we'll be moved, all right. It's just a matter of when, by whom and how many pieces. There are conversations about community and what it means to build community. There are, commu there are conversations about empathy. There are conversations really about the environment and the role of climate change and climate collapse on global migration. These are all conversations that the entire world needs to really be in the middle of. Uh, and a work like this uh, is able to draw together so many strands. And so we wanted to support the creation of the work uh, and, uh, and to help it to, to live and help it to exist. People say to me like, well, do you want to work with the theater department or do you want to work with, you know, dance department? And I'm like, I'll work with any department because everything is in the story. We're operating out of these two books, mostly Parable of the Sower and a little bit of Parable of the Talents. We try and capture, in effect, these very different worlds that are presented in the first novel. The first half of Parable of the Sower, which is about this community, um, exists on stage in a kind of shared light. Like when you come in and you're watching the show, the, the audience is lit for much of the first act. In fact, the stage never goes black until the end of the first half of this piece. And in the way that it defines genres is that it takes elements of music, opera, theater, concert performance, um, uh, uh, theatrical design into a space that, uh, that I think I haven't quite seen before. And in Parable of the Talents, um, which is the next novel, um, it actually uh, is, uh, takes place in 2030s, and it's told uh, through the voice of Laura Alamina's daughter. Was we looked at a lot of research around um, refugee crisis and sort of the, the the nature of the catastrophe that propels thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people away from their homes into a space of uncertainty, into a space of unknown. The first dreams you hear about in the first um, novel. Um, actually get realized. We go to black for the very first time. And in that blackout, everything in the space is struck and we find ourselves in this empty space. And, um, and what we were trying to discover is how to create a narrative about, about people who have been unmoored from their lives. Follows no preconceived notions of one particular form. most powerful about Parable of the Sower is the music. Don't let your baby go, don't let your baby go to I live by. Raises questions about uh, in an uncertain future, uh, 
what are you going to do, at, you know, and how are you going to affect the world in which you live to make sure things move into a positive direction when there is so much threat around us. All that you touch, you change. All that you change, changes you. The only lasting truth is change. What I hope it is, is a confirmation of what a lot of people already know in their hearts about being alive on the planet. So I hope it keeps you company. <laughs> <laughs>